Okay, yeah. So, uh, I just completed 2,000 days of daily art. Let's dive in. <laughs> so, hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Bobby, and yeah, that title is not an exaggeration at all. I've been creating daily art for the past 2,000 days, <laughs> which is just absolutely wild, and I think for uh, a milestone like this, uh, it deserves a video at the very least. Uh, and for the people who already know me, let's just get one thing out of the way. I would usually put the headphones on and have, you know, that mic going, but it's been giving me nothing but problems uh, trying to record this. So we're just going to use my camera audio. I have natural lighting. These are just for effect. And we're just going to see if I can record this in the time before the sun goes down, realistically, is my time frame for recording this video. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if the lighting is going to change, but that's not what we're here for. So yeah, I have been making art for 2,000 days straight at this point. Uh, more so because I've been making art all my life, but if you are interested in the 2,000 previous days, um, I'll link to my Instagram, that's where you can find out literally all of it, and then on my other socials, of course. Yeah, um, 2,000 days. I mean, 2,000 days of art, to, to be exact. Wild. So yeah, um, trying to plan this video didn't work. I had no idea what to do for it. Because um, I already made a, a, a five-year milestone video, which should be linked either in the card somewhere or uh, definitely down in the description. And in that video, I talk about basically everything. Everything from, you know, how I started, my thought process, lessons I've learned, and goals, all the different art styles and how they work together, how they change from this into that into that. And so I don't really see a point of like rehashing all of that. For this video, I mainly want to talk about uh, the future without jinxing myself horribly. So yeah, without going into like too much detail, I kind of want to like briefly hint at like what my idea is of like where this can go. Spoiler alert, um, we're not stopping. Uh, I said that like every single video, every single uh, milestone video of like, oh, is uh, is three years gonna be like, yep, done, is that where I stop? Nope. Uh, five years? Uh, nope. T same with 2000. So we're just gonna keep it going as long as we physically can. I think the next thing in this daily drawing challenge uh, has to be like leveling it up. I'm very used to like the same kind of cartoonish doodle stuff that I'm, I've been doing for I think over a year now, uh, which is probably like the longest singular time I've stuck to like a cohesive art style, which feels really good by the way. I've been asked like what my art is or what it means or all that kind of stuff. And I always re you know, reply to that in a funny TikTok video of like, I don't know what my art style is. Do you, do you know what my art style is? I don't know what this is. I don't know what, what this means. It doesn't mean anything. Um, and I love that. Um, however, I also want to start integrating more uh, or make things start to make more sense. If, if that's, if you're, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, uh, because for all the characters that I've been drawing, all the art, all like the this is a huge foundation, I'm not doing anything substantial with it. Just like keep on going wide. And I think now it's time to like go tall, start building like the bones to something. Um, as to what that thing is, I don't know. I didn't expect that I would get five years down the road of this challenge. So who knows what that's going to be. I have a couple ideas. I could turn many of these characters into recurring characters, have like a story, have some lore, have a reason why my characters are at least, you know, if, if not doing things, because they're just faces right now, um, why they're being so expressive. <laughs> yeah, I think building up lore, building up story, incorporating recurring characters somehow. I have a couple designs that I would love to just keep redrawing and see if I can develop them more. And of course with all of that means a lot more content. More long form content, not specifically of this, but yeah, I mean, more YouTube videos would be great because I am used to short form, you know, 15 second, 60 second kind of content. But regardless, yeah, I think more long form content, working on things for more than just like one day. Another thing I want to do is create more sub 
substantial stuff, not just like one day silly doodle, oh, I have to make this expression to make it a thing and send it out onto the world and forget about it, right? I could do like, I could post like twice in a day and say like, oh yeah, I this is my daily drawing for the day, but hey, this is also a project I just started and it's gonna like continue over like the next two, three, four, five week time span uh, and actually pour a little bit more effort into it. Those could be like the stories, right? Those could be like the settings and environments and and why is this person doing this thing in this frame? All of that kind of stuff. I don't know, maybe collaborations? Literally this just popped into my mind uh, now. I don't <laughs> know uh, how any of that stuff would work, but I know I have like fellow art friends uh, on TikTok that I would love to do stuff with, so maybe. And in general, just to be more real, open and honest. Uh, that was a big thing in my five-year video and it's really always been. Um, and that's something that I've started to realize over the past couple of years of like making art like through a pandemic of just like, it's really important to try to be as open and real and honest as possible um, and just bring your full self to the table. I, I think it was last year or the year before. I can't remember, it was either 2020 or 2021. Um, but I made a video talking about like how you know, I want to share more of the artists behind the art more. Uh, and that doesn't mean like delving into like personal stuff. It just means like interests and like, <laughs> I really don't know how, how else to describe it other than just like, you know, bringing more of me. That's just the best way in general, I think, to, to make content, you know. I want people to follow me for my art, but I also want people to follow me for me as well. Whether you want to call that like artist, content creator, influencer i i don't know but i that's definitely something that i want so um yeah that's basically it that's the update uh for 2000 uh, like i said i covered most everything that i would want to talk about uh in my five-year video already which again in the card in the description somewhere uh, you'll be able to find it but yeah i'm also running out of natural window light so that's great I, I should really wrap it up really quick and i never use natural window light and i'm running out of it so i guess that's a point for me, for using natural window light, which everyone says to use. No audio, but at least, at least I got the natural window light. <laughs> but there is one more thing that I want to talk about. Uh, aside from art, uh, and aside from myself. Um, because I can't, in good conscience, end this video without talking about it. Because it's that important, uh, and it's that impactful. If you're watching close to the upload date and you live in the US, you may know what I'm talking about. That is the fact that earlier today in the morning, um, the Supreme Court officially struck down Roe v. Wade, which is a slap in the fucking face to everyone with a uterus. Literally, it's the only thing that I've, that's, I can, I can think about. You know, I was expecting today to, only be about um, focusing on my art and I would be able to just like breeze through it and, and whatnot, but uh, no, I, I, I don't want to center myself too much in this conversation though, because like truly it, it, it won't affect me that much, but it will affect everyone. Like you do realize that, right? It will affect everyone. Whether you are, you know, someone with a uterus now who it directly affects or, you know, tomorrow, your right to privacy, right to medical privacy. Um, right to bodily autonomy in other respects, uh, privacy in your own bedroom, contraception, if not for yourself, then uh, for people in your life. This Because this is an all-hands-on-deck scenario, uh, to, for lack of a better term. It is okay to feel sad, hopeless, and all that kind of stuff, uh, and to process emotions, but after you process those emotions, you need to turn that into anger and turn that anger into action because that's how change happens you know you know i don't know the answers i don't know the way forward but i know that it's going to be real scary for a while and i just want to let everyone know that you're not fighting alone um uh, you're not going to be, you know, going through this solo. Uh, the majority of the country wants abortion. They they want they you know they want it, but because of 
a couple fucking freaks uh, in the Supreme Court, we won't get it. Yeah, I just I just want to briefly touch on that because it feels wrong not to. Um, and it kind of ties into what I was talking about earlier of, um, you know, I want to bring more of myself to the table. I want to bring more art that has more purpose. Um, and I'm not saying I'm going to turn into like a political artist or anything. You know, I made a shirt just not too long ago of like, what will we allow um, with an angry cartoon face? And it was actually motivated by the, the leak decision. Um, and it's just going to get more relevant. I already kind of did my outro. Um, and after that whole uh, thing, it kind of feels weird to plug myself. So I'll just keep that to a minimum. Uh, I already mentioned uh, either in the description or in the card, there will be the link to my five-year video. Um, and I just want to instead end this video on, you're not alone. It's about to get real scary. It's about to get real intense, probably. Um, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But you are seen. You're not fighting alone. Uh, I love you. You are loved. Uh, let's continue to try to make this world a better place. Um, make it a more beautiful place if you're an artist. Yeah, I think that's just how I'm going to end this video, honestly. Um, much love. Let's keep going.